I'm on the front line with the paramedics who are left to pick up the pieces. The culture in this country nowadays is that we'll go out, we'll get absolutely mullered. It really annoys you, doesn't it? This is the way Norwich's Prince of Wales Road is being shown to the nation today. A documentary from ITV's Jeremy Kyle focusing on the dark side of the city's nighttime economy. But in today's sunshine, it looks a different world. And the people who spend the most time here say the reputation is undeserved. It doesn't surprise me some of the comments that he came out with, um, you know, saying you know, people being sick and um, you know, urinating in the street. Yeah, it is shameful and of course people should have more personal responsibility. But I think what the programme um, didn't perhaps pick up at the time was the fantastic partnership work. And we can have anything from sort of two to 5,000 people coming out uh, on a Friday or Saturday night. Um, do I think it's much different to, to other areas? Um, no, not really. I think people come out, have a great time. Um, and we work very well with the bars and clubs down here. It's been around a decade since the street was dubbed the most dangerous in Norfolk, but it hasn't been able to shake the negative image. There's still a huge police presence every Friday and Saturday night, with high-profile cases of officers assaulted and pressure on the emergency services left to pick up the pieces of antisocial behaviour. It will never improve. I think it's broken Britain Lane. I think it attracts a lot of trouble. It's definitely got better than it was. Um, it used to be quite a rough area, but now it's, yeah, it's much nicer. In recent years, the focus has been on that improvement, with police and clubs working more closely together, ID scanners being used in venues, more CCTV, and some residential roads being closed off. Gary's been running GT's male hair design for 17 years and has seen the difference it's all made. Mostly on a Saturday morning I would come in and there would be things left outside. Not pleasant things to clear up on a Saturday morning, but you would have to come in early on a Saturday morning to help clear up the street. I haven't had to do that for a long time. There's definitely less people down here causing the problems that were about probably five years ago. But despite the steps it's made, there are still worries about the future. Another lap dancing club's just been given permission to open up here at Bar 52. City Councillor Leslie Graham's concerned it could make the area less safe, but wants people to focus on the improvements that have been made. Most people, most of the time, are very nice and friendly and sociable and don't mean to do anybody any harm. There's a small minority who cause a lot of trouble and we don't want to sensationalise and focus on, uh, focus on them. We want to focus on creating a, on making it a vibrant economy where everyone can have a good time. And Norfolk's Police and Crime Commissioner has the same concerns. Just like Jeremy Kyle, Lorn Green did his own research last year with a night out on Prince of Wales Road, but he was pleased with what he saw. I am told that enormous improvement has been made over the years. Prince of Wales Road is an uh, entertainment capital of this, uh, of this county. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't deserve uh, the bad reputation it's given in some quarters. And I'm totally uh, contrary to putting out bad news when it's not fully deserved. I've spent a lot of time on Prince of Wales Road in an official capacity. And you know what I've seen? I've seen a lot of mostly young people having a great time on a Friday night. And hey, if I was 20 or 25, probably I'd be in Prince of Wales Road too. Jeremy Kyle came to the city because Norwich is the fourth worst place in the country for alcohol-related hospital admissions. And after filming, he described what he saw on Prince of Wales Road as carnage. An exaggeration or not, it's clear there's still more that can be done. Lauren Hewitt, Mustard TV, Norwich.